discipline, uh, discipline performance by our guys. I was uh, really pleased uh, with the way we played. I thought we showed very good maturity and, and uh, in our preparation, we had very good days of practice leading in and uh, I thought it made a difference. Uh, I really thought our guys did what we wanted them to do defensively and uh, offensively, I thought we shared the ball, uh, had you know, very good assist turnover numbers and uh, executed against different defenses, man and zone and some zone press. And uh, certainly when we shot it well again, uh, that, that helps our team a lot. So uh, just a good disciplined performance in, in preparation during the week and the performance today. Brad, what's it mean to get to 20 wins this early? That's great. Uh, yeah, obviously it's hard to, it's hard to do this. And uh, you got to play well both in the league and the non-league to get to 20. And, uh, you know, just proud of our guys for, you know, how much they poured into it, not just during the season, but this summer and fall. And, you know, guys have really worked hard and uh, given everything they've had. And, uh, you know, we've played very good basketball for a long period now. And, and uh, obviously we have an extremely difficult next couple of weeks. But, uh, just super proud of our guys and what they've been able to do. Um, 20 wins in 24 games mm -hmm. is, uh, is excellent basketball. With the stretch you have coming up, two of the next three on the road and, and Duke at home, how important was it to come out and dominate this one tonight? Yeah, I mean, it was just important to continue to play well, and certainly we wanted to win this game. I mean, we knew we were favored and all those kinds of things. I thought Kevin's team played hard. I thought their kids are big, strong kids that, that play hard. and. Uh, the Brown kid inside was really good today. And uh, you know, thankfully, we defended the three well so that they didn't have both things going, or I think the game would have been close. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is one of those games that you know, you'd like to play well and get a nice win. And then you know, we, we have a couple days off here now uh, leading into Florida State. We have to, have to take a couple days off. So we're going to meet tomorrow, and then we'll be off Saturday, Sunday. Brad, typically nine and three in the ACC is in the mix for the regular season title, but Virginia is still three games ahead yeah. of you. Is that bothersome at all, or are you just so happy to be where you're at right now that you know? That you know, in your mind? I haven't really studied all that that closely. I mean, I obviously know that Virginia is undefeated and playing extremely well, and um, but yeah, I don't know that you know we're just trying to play as well as we can play and keep our head down and find out who's next and. Uh, I think our guys have done a really good job of that. You know, we don't, it's not like we have this great margin for error that we can, you know, we still have to play really well to win games. And fortunately for us, we have. Um, but, you know, we can't be looking and worrying about a lot of other things, I think, and take our eye off the preparation that goes into trying to play well. You kind of mixed and matched a little bit in the first half with the lineups. How much of that was to kind of prepare you for the stretch drive, see what works, and what did you see that worked? Well, Marquise Reed uh, has the flu. It's uh, ironic. I was asked about it uh, on the radio show, I think, Monday. And uh, he was fine. And he was fine, uh, I don't know what day it is, Tuesday. And then all of a sudden, Wednesday morning, first thing in the morning, I get a text from my uh, uh, trainer that Marquise has got a fever of about 103. And uh, we'll see what happens. And obviously, he was down for the count that whole day. And thankfully, the fever went away. Uh, that day, they got on, got on it right away, and pumped him full of some fluids. And uh, the next morning, you know, he woke up and he felt felt fine, which was today um, or better. But uh, and so we were gonna. I asked him, "Do you want to do it?" And he said, "Yeah." And uh, so we just, you know, played him at times. He asked to come out, which that might be the first time he's done that this year. Uh, but you know, he obviously wasn't full strength, so Clyde knew going in that we didn't know if he was gonna play or not. So Clyde would have probably started if. Marquise didn't, and uh, so we knew Clyde was ready to go for, you know, bigger minutes. And uh, you know, as we built a little bit of a lead, we played a few more guys, a few more minutes. But you know, I really wanted to play our older guys a good bit because we don't play for a while. I really just wanted them to continue to play together and be out there for a little bit. How go crazy is this stretch Gabe is on right now? Yeah, I mean, he's playing at an unbelievably high level, just shooting the ball with a lot of confidence, you know, but he puts in a lot of work. He shoots extra. He's one of the first guys, if not the first guy of the gym, been that way all through fall shooting when we come in, you know, three or four mornings a week as a team and shoot. And, you know, you just, you're happy for guys on your team and in your program that 
develop, and this is what you want for them in their the end of their careers is to be playing their best basketball and and to be enjoying it. And he certainly is doing both. Coach, I think it was Scar's second start of the season, best game of the of the year for him. He played well. Um, you know, it's interesting in that uh, Wilson frame for them is a has shot the most threes on their team, and so when they put him in and start him at the four, we just felt like Scar was the better matchup. And uh, David did a very good job. You know, that's one of the things that we battled through is, uh, you know, Amir played well in his 13 minutes. He had four rebounds. He's a better rebounder than, than David. But uh, David's such a good perimeter defender that he can guard all different kinds of guys. And when we play teams that have a lot of shooters at that position, you know, he's going to play more. And so he started because of that. And, uh, you know, obviously that's where Dante came in. Dante could do both. He could guard bigger guys and smaller guys pretty well. Uh, right now we're just, you know, we got to mix and match with both those guys. But I did think he played well. Is Gabe almost to the point now, uh, Brad, where he's so hot that you almost don't think he can take a bad shot as far as distance goes? Or maybe no more of that, oh, no, that's too far away. Uh, almost. There's still one that he got talked about. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. I'm pretty liberal with, with Gabe and his shooting, and he knows that. But every once in a while, you know, there was one he needed to pass. Brad, they're coming way out to guard him. Are, are you having to screen more for him? With the yeah, I mean, there's certain things we do where we run screening action for him, to, you know, in our offense or in plays. And then some of it's just him, you know, making plays and guys making plays for him. Um, it's a combination, you know. And obviously, as they continue to come out farther, we need to – make more plays underneath it. And, uh, you know, they went some zone and ex extended some, and I thought we got into the high post a couple times, and David made two baskets doing that. So, you know, there's some things you get because of having shooting and stretching the floor. And, you know, some of that's going to have to continue. How much of a change have you seen in David's play, especially since Dante's injury? Um, yeah, I think there's been some. I think it's just, you know, the more he plays and the more good things happen for him, the more comfortable he'll be, especially on the offensive end. Um, you know, it's good to see him have nine points tonight. You know, he's been making his free throws. Um, obviously, he hit two huge ones against Wake late in the game. Um, and uh, he, got a, he got us off to a pretty good start with a couple plays early in this game. So I think that's the biggest thing that you see is him improving offensively. Do you think people underestimate uh, Eli's ability to pass the ball? Seems to be doing a really good job of us lately. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think there's just so many things that you got to worry about in a game that there's going to be some situations where he's going to have that opportunity. I think Eli's done a good job defensively. You know, I thought, again, this was another game where Eli guarded some ball screens well, um, rebounded well, another you know 11 rebound game. You know, and I thought he was reasonably good offensively. I think he's got to finish a few more, and uh, I think he will. Um, but I thought he played well tonight in his 23 minutes. You know, he had a double double, and I thought his defense on the uh, on their actions and their offense was really good tonight. I know Brown had a, had a good game and scored a couple, but there was a lot of things that Eli had to be involved in today. You said since Dante got hurt that you'd like to see Amir and the, and the others uh, do a better job of, of making entry passes down to Eli, getting more touches. Do you think they did a better job of that? Tonight? Yeah, I thought he got more touches tonight. No question. I thought he got more post looks. Can you qualify the improvements Clyde's made since November where he's kind of on the fringes to playing 20 minutes in a league game tonight? Yeah, just uh, development. And, you know, there was a lot of things they didn't do right tonight uh, in those 20 minutes. Um, you know, mostly things that we correct defensively. But uh, his confidence is coming, and he's a guy that wants to learn. Um, you know, he's – you know, it was great to see him shoot that three in right away. He shot the ball really well in practice the last couple days. So, like, it's not surprising that he's going to jump up and make a shot. Like, you know, even though he hasn't made a ton this year, hasn't shot a ton, uh, I think that part of his game is coming as he continues to rep it out and keeps working on it. We've done a good job of working with him on some things. You know, he's got a big, long, live body. Uh, so, physically, he's fine out there. Um, you know, he's just got to continue to, to play the game the right way. And uh, again, he had three assists. So he, he took, he he made some plays for others, which we think he can do. Um, you know, it's just, you know, it's just a long process. But he's he's improved a lot. Any more questions? Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Coach. Coach.